proofs of loss of set operations here we are going to prove the loss of set operations of de morgan's law so de morgan's law that is number 2 second law of the de morgan's states that a intersection b whole dash or whole complement is equals to a dash union b dash or in other words a intersection b whole complement equals to a complement uni union b complement so we have to prove this condition under the advanced level so in order to prove this condition so we have to consider two sets so they are one as a and as well as b so here the de morgan's law number 2 states that a intersection b whole complement is equals to a complement union b complement we are going to prove this condition by means of the element wise proof then now the proof starts so in our proof we have to prove the condition that is a intersection b whole complement is equals to a complement union b complement so here before going to prove this condition so here we must know the two formulae already we have stated in the de morgan law number 1 that a complement is given by means of the formula mu minus a so here complement of a is equals to a must be subtracted set a must be subtracted from the universal set then now in order to get the a intersection b whole complement so here we need a intersection b whole complement so here in order to get the formula of a intersection b whole complement this a intersection b the bracket a intersection b must be subtracted from the universal set that is mu so here a dash we need a dash so here a dash equals to mu minus a similarly we need even b dash b dash is equals to we have to find out the complement or the dash complement of b so here b must be the set b must be subtracted from the universal set that is mu in order to get the b complement so here we need b even b dash and at the same time we need a intersection b whole complement as mu minus a intersection b so with the help of these three conditions so here we can solve or we can prove this condition a intersection b whole complement equals to a dash union b dash but in order to prove this condition that is a intersection b whole complement equals to a complement union b complement so first of all we have to prove the two conditions that is left hand side must be the subset of the right hand side and the right hand side must be the subset of left hand side then now so here in order to prove the condition that is a intersection b whole complement is equals to a complement union b complement so first of all we have to prove so here we have to prove two conditions so here the conditions the two conditions are of the first one the first condition is of a intersection b whole complement the lhs must be the subset of the rhs the rhs is of a complement union b complement and whereas in the second case we have to prove the rhs the subset of lhs that is a complement union b complement must be the subset of a intersection b whole complement then now so we are going to prove the first case that is case number 1 in our case number 1 we are going to prove a intersection b whole complement is the subset of a complement union b complement so but that too we are going to prove this condition by means of element wise proof then now in order to prove the condition that is a intersection b whole complement is a subset of a complement union b complement so we have to assume one element that is x which belongs to the lhs so here let the element be x which belongs to the lhs that is a intersection b whole complement then now that implies x belongs to but here a intersection b whole complement as per the previous logical step so a intersection b whole complement can be written as mu minus a intersection b so instead a intersection b whole complement we can write it as mu minus a intersection b so here i got this logical step by the reason so here since a intersection b whole complement is equals to mu minus the bracket consisting a intersection b so with the help of this reason i wrote this logical step then now the next logical step will be off so that implies x is present in mu but here a intersection b is removed subtracted from mu so x belongs to mu but x does not belongs to this a intersection b so subtraction indicates it does not belongs the second set does not belongs to this per x does not belongs to this particular second set but it belongs to only the first set therefore so here x belongs to the first set that is mu and x does not belongs to the second bracket that is a intersection b because the second bracket is removed from the first set that is mu that is universal set then now the next logical step will be off that implies x belongs to mu and say so here this can be elaborated as x belong does not belongs to a intersection b can be written as in case if it is of x belongs instead of does not belongs if it is of only belongs we would have written x belongs to a intersection indicates and so here intersection is nothing but and so here we can write it as 
inverted V with a symbol. So your union indicates here or we can write it as V. So these are the same symbolic two symbolic notations. So with the help of these two symbolic notations we are going to write these logical steps. Whereas instead of this does not belongs if it is of belongs x belongs to a intersection b we would have written x belongs to a and x belongs to b that is we would have written and but here since it is of does not belongs so here we have to write it as so here x does not belongs to a or x does not belongs to b so here intersection that is inverted v becomes the or that is v so intersection becomes here union then now the next logical step will be off so here we are going to apply one formula that is the distributive law so here if it is of a into b plus c so here we will be multiplying a with first of all b then later with c then now that is equals to a into b plus in between a into c then now here i am going to apply this logical step in order to multiply here then now the next logical step will be off that implies so mu with a first of all and mu with b next in the next logical step so here in the first bracket i want to write x belongs to this mu and x does not belongs to this a bracket close then now here plus in between so here or in between then now here x belongs to mu in the second bracket then now here and and x does not belongs to b again that is a into b so here first and second one plus in between so here or in between then now first with first and last so here mu and this b so here the next logical step will be off so that implies so x is present in mu and x does not belongs to a so here it is not present in a so here we can write it as x belongs to belonging to mu that is present in mu and does not belong so we have to remove so it does not belongs to means so we have to subtract this particular a so here mu minus a then now here or is written as it is then now here x belongs to belongs to mu and does not belongs to b so here belonging to mu we can write it as mu not belonging to b we can subtract this b so here we can write it as x belongs to mu minus a or x belongs to mu minus b whereas in the next logical step mu minus a and mu minus b can be written as whereas mu minus a can be written as a dash and mu minus b can be written as b dash whereas in the next logical step we will be getting it as so instead of x belongs to mu minus a we can write it as x belongs to a dash and x belongs to mu minus b as x belongs to b dash so here or in between then now so that implies so x belongs to a dash instead of mu minus a so here or x belongs to b dash instead of mu minus b then now the next logical step will be of that implies so here x belongs to a dash or b dash can be written as a dash or can be written as union then now b dash then now when we have LHS, so here the LHS is of x belongs to A intersection B whole dash, x belongs to A intersection B whole dash implies, so here x belongs to A dash union B dash, that is x is the element which is present in the A intersection B whole dash set and same element x is also present in A dash union B dash set, so that means the element which is present in the LHS set is also the element of the RHS set, therefore since the elements of the elements present in the LHS set are also the elements of the second set, therefore the first set will be the subset of the second set that is LHS set will be the subset of the second set that is RHS therefore we can write it as so here hence A intersection B whole dash will be the subset to A dash union B dash so in this manner we have proved the first case and let us consider this as the equation number one or the condition number one then now we are going to prove the case number two so in our case number two so we have to prove reverse case that is I mean right hand side must be the subset to the left hand side the right hand side is of A dash union B dash must be the subset to so here A intersection B whole dash then now so here since we are proving by means of the element wise we have to suppose one element that is x so let x be the element which belongs to this LHS that is a dash union b dash then that implies x belongs to a dash union as or then now x belongs to the second set that is b dash then now so here the next logical step we can write it as implies so x belongs to instead of a dash we can write it as so here mu minus a is the formula for finding the a dash then now or x belongs to b dash can be written as mu minus b so here we got this logical step so here by means of the two reasons that is a dash is equals to mu minus a and b dash as the mu minus b so here based upon this reason since based upon this reason we wrote this logical step then now the next logical step will be of that implies x belongs to mu in the first bracket and removed so here a is removed that is x does not belongs to this a belongs to mu and does not belongs to a because of there is of sign minus sign between so a is completely removed so here x does not belongs to this particular set a so here and x does not belongs to a or in the second bracket x belongs to this mu and so here b is removed so x does not belong to this second set that is b but here in both the cases we can take x belongs to mu and and x belongs to mu and and so up to this extent we can take as common so x belongs to mu and and so here x belongs to mu and and so here if i take x belongs to mu and and as common in the next case then the next logical step will be off so that implies so here x belongs to mu and and is taken as common so from the 
first bracket when x belongs to mu and and is taken as common only x does not belong to a is left over then or then now here when x belongs to mu is and and is taken as common x does not belongs to b is left over so here therefore in the next logical step only x does not belongs to a and or so x does not belongs to b is left over in the bracket so here x does not belongs to a or x does not belongs to b so whereas here if this is taken as common x does not belongs to a or if this is taken as common then x does not belongs to b is left over in the brackets then now in the next logical step so that implies x belongs to mu and say here x does not belongs to a or x does not belongs to b so i want to write it as in, in case if it is off in case if it is of x belongs to a or x belongs to b we would have written x belongs to a or mean union a union b we would have written but here instead of here belongs to it is of does not belongs to therefore we can write it as the union becomes here intersection so v becomes inverted v or in other words so here or becomes and that is union becomes here intersection that is a union b then now the next logical step so that implies x belongs to say x is present in mu and it is not present in a intersection b it is does not belongs to a intersection b that is a intersection b must be removed so here from mu we have to subtract this a intersection b so here does not belongs to mean here a intersection b is subtracted from this mu then now but we know that the next logical step x belongs to mu minus a intersection b is nothing but a intersection b whole dash so here based upon this reason since a intersection b whole complement is equals to mu minus a intersection b so here instead of mu minus a intersection b so here i wrote a intersection b whole complement then now we have the lhs in the second case is of x belongs to a dash union b dash x belongs to a dash union b dash but here the right hand side which we got is of x belongs to a intersection b whole dash from this it is clear that an element x is belonging to the a dash union b dash set and the same element x is also present in a intersection b whole dash set so x is the element which is present in lhs and as well as rhs the elements which belongs to the first set are also the elements of the second set that means the lhs set will be the subset of the rhs set so yeah therefore we can write it as a dash union b dash is the subset of a intersection b whole dash then now here in this manner we have proved the second case and now let us consider this as the equation number 2 or the condition number 2 then now here from equations or in other words conditions 1 and as well as 2 the first condition is of or the first equation is of a intersection b whole complement is the subset of a complement union b complement so let us consider this as the equation number 1 which we got as the previous logical step then now the second one as a dash union b dash the complement of a intersection b whole complement then now let us consider this as the equation number 2 or the condition number 2 from these two conditions it is clear that so here a, in, a intersection b whole complement is the subset of a complement union b complement and the a complement union b complement is also the subset of a intersection b whole complement or in other words lhs is the subset of rhs and the rhs is the subset of lhs therefore lhs and rhs must be equated or they are equal so here hence a intersection b whole complement will be equals to a complement union b complement so in this manner we have deduced or proved the de morgan law second which is nothing but a intersection b whole complement equals to a complement union b complement so here hence it is proved